Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Tugger and Train back in it again. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your internet on your iPhone. You might be getting these messages which say, couldn't safely secure like this type of internet web page and it won't let you view it. So I'm going to be showing you guys the four fixes I have for you guys and you can try every single one of them until your stuff works. And if it doesn't, of course, let me know in the comment section if you do find a solution or if you're still having this issue. So I will be helping you guys. Without any further ado, let's get on with our last announcement. I do give free active shoutouts all the time. So if you guys want to win, be sure to be active in the comments section of my videos or be active on my twitter rules in the description so the winners for today are these guys you guys can go ahead and check them out here's the twitter and youtube winner so if you guys want to be active on my channel and win that free shout out for your channel or your twitter profile there it is thank you guys for watching let's get started Alright guys, so if you guys do like this wallpaper, be sure to check it out in the description. It's under daily wallpaper section. So if you guys want this Ken Konki wallpaper, be sure to download it and keep it for yourself. Now I have four tips for you guys, so you guys want to head into settings. Now go straight to your Wi-Fi. Once you're in your Wi-Fi, what you guys want to make sure is if you're connected to a cable Wi-Fi, TWC, Passpoint, or any of those. For some reason, I find my device connects to them randomly because I tap them one time accidentally and they keep connecting. Now what you want to do from that is forget it so you don't keep connecting to it. Click the little I, click forget this network, and click forget again. And that's basically it. You shouldn't ever connect to it again by mistake. It's so like these time on a cable, like all these types, they're in my area. That's basically it for tip number one. Tip number two, what you guys want to do is make sure your date and time is set on automatically. Now, I don't know why this is an issue, but I figured it out. I used to have this issue coming from the app store and all those other random applications that need Wi-Fi. They, they need to make sure that your date and time is set correctly. So make sure that your go to date and time and set to automatically make sure that it's on for sure. Step number three, head back into Wi-Fi, go into your Wi-Fi network that you're connected to, click the I, click renew lease. Now basically, I'm not sure exactly how this works, but I guess it's a new set of terms you have to accept maybe, I'm not really sure, but renew lease, I found that to fix my little brother's iPod Touch 5 a while ago, so that does help. And lastly, for my last tip, you guys need to forget your Wi-Fi and connect to it again. Now please make sure you know your password and all that before you disconnect, but other than that, this should be the final solution, it should work from now. Click the little I, click forget this network, and make sure it's your home network, not the cable Wi-Fi, because you don't really need those. And after you forget it, you can go ahead and tap your Wi-Fi and connect to it again. It's very simple, guys. If it still doesn't work for you, let me know in the comment section. I will be trying to fix it with you, and I'll be sure to find some more solutions for that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please leave a like and subscription towards my name. Thank you for watching. Peace.